Hey YouTube, welcome to this video in which we'll be creating a complete React plus Firebase application using only React hooks and where the user could register, you could pretty much log in and see what code you have set and your name and stuff like that. So you see you're logged in, you see your code, you could log out, you could log back in again, you could register a new account or you could pretty much go to the dashboard itself. So let's get into it. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and like the video. It really helps. We're going to start off by changing our directory and using create react app and saying react hooks Firebase as the project name, which would spin up a Firebase or just a react project for us pretty quickly. Once that is done, I'm going to CD into my directory and add a couple of more packages which we need. The first one being Firebase. Then we also need material UI for the UI and the icon set as well. So just go ahead and add that. All right. So once you have that, we also need to add our React router DOM for adding different pages. Okay. So here's how our React application looks like at the moment. But I'm going to trim this off by deleting a lot of files. So we're going to delete all these app.js, app.css, all these test files and stuff because we don't need them. We're going to start clean by just using our index.js file here and uh, we're going to get rid of the service worker, this logo, pretty much everything which React gave us. And inside our index.js, we're going to get rid of this, this, this and all this, right? We're going to say app, but we're going to import this app from our component, components and app. And we're gonna create a components folder and let me just shoot out my terminal here real quick. So I'm gonna say SRC and I'm gonna say um, components is what we want. We're gonna make app as the folder. We're gonna need a register. We're gonna need a login. We're gonna need a dashboard. We're gonna need a home page. And we could just pretty much touch all the index.js files inside that. We also need to move all these folders to component. I did miss that. So we're going to move them. All right. So our app.js would pretty much look like this, where we are importing our material UI theme. We're providing some baseline styles, which resets the styles across browsers to maintain consistency. Then we are making use of React Router DOM, which would allow us to add paths like on um, home page. We want home page component to be rendered on login login components should show and so on and so forth we have four routes at the moment with each route having its associated component all right so if we take a look at home page it's a typical functional component right nothing special here nothing going on i can explain the render method pretty quickly but if you want to take a look at the code its link is in the description the github repo you can check that out so it just pretty much displays hello guest and three buttons which redirect me to register, login, and dashboard. We could pretty much start our application right here by saying yarn start and going to web to see what we are seeing here. Just before that, you see we have a styles.css import here. So let's just create that file pretty quickly so that it works. And I'm just gonna set it margin zero and padding zero. Oops, here we go. We could also go ahead inside our public index.html file and place the Roboto font link which is used by Material UI library. And once we do that, if we take a look in the browser, you see we get a nice little hello uh, homepage page which we have designed. Moving on to login page, you see we are doing nothing fancy here. We will be using hooks and stuff later on, but I just want to design the UI first. We have this on click method to be implemented which we're going to do in a while. But if we take a look at the browser, go to login, you see we get a nice little sign in page, which is what we want. All right, the next thing is our registration page, which again looks like a typical React component using functional component. And basically we have to register this on click register as well. But what it looks like at the moment, if we go to register, you're gonna see a nice little register component, which allows you to enter name, email, password, and your favorite code. Now we need to link everything with Firebase. 
Okay, so first steps first, we need to make our login component stateful in order to get the username and password which we are using and send it to Firebase for login purpose. So I'm going to say email and set email is my use state with a default value of blank. Similarly, password and set password is use state with a default value of blank. We need to give these to these two input fields right here. I'm going to say this value is email and on change. What I want is set email to the target value, right? Similarly for this, we want it to be password and on change. This should set our password to e .target value, which gives us the current user password. Once we do that, now we have access to the email and password user wrote using email and password variables right here. Now let's just go ahead and implement this on click method that is login. So I'm going to create this function down here saying login and let's just make this function async async and I'm going to say that I want to try firebase.login here with our email and password where this firebase would come from our custom class we're going to create in a minute and i'm going to catch if there's any error then i just want to simply alert the error dot message right here all right it's time to set up our firebase now so go ahead into your firebase dashboard and go inside the settings project settings go ahead and choose a web project and copy this configuration right here we're going to need this go back to your code and just with components you're going to create a file called fire firebase.js where we're going to store our firebase configuration so let us begin by importing our app from firebase app which is official package we need access to firebase auth so we're going to get that and we also need access to firebase firestore so i'm going to get that as well for us right then I'm going to paste my configuration right here and I'm going to say this is const and uh, instead of Firebase, I'm going to say app, which initializes our configuration. But what we want is I'm going to create a class Firebase, which would allow us some help of functions to use. Now, mind you, this is not a React component. We are still using functional components only. This is just a utility class for us to use, right? And I'm going to get this, throw this inside this one and i'm going to get reference to auth by saying app.auth this gives us reference to auth apis and db as app.firestore which are going to give us access to our cloud firestore let's create more functions the first one being the login one which is email and password and it's just going to return us this promise with this dot dot sign in with email and password and we're going to pass in email and password now this returns as a promise which we could resolve later on in our code. We could also add a logout method which would pretty much just log out the current user, not really log out, sign out, right? We could also go ahead and write an async register method which is going to register our user having a name, email and password. Now what we need to do first of all is we need to await the user which is being registered. So we're going to create this user uh, with email and password and I'm going to say we're going to create this with email and password and once that is done we want to update this user's profile having the correct name. So I'm going to say I'm going to get the current user which is this user right here which is authenticated and I'm going to update his profile update profile by setting the display name to the name passed right and this would be actually done in our register component all right we're going to add our uh, other helper methods later on now let's just go ahead and export this so i'm going to create a new instance of this class and export that so this gives us access to everything and the constructor is initialized as well so now if we go to register we need to implement this on click handle so let's just go ahead and do that but before that we need to get into our use state again by using name the fields which we want the user to fill out right so there are four fields name email password and quote 
so I'm gonna get all of them a custom state and a custom um, setter as well and set code there we go similarly I'm gonna place all of them right here all right so once we do that you're gonna see it looks pretty much just like we did on login name has the value name on change your setting name for email on change your setting email similarly for password and code okay so once we have that let's just go ahead and create our register on register method right here so we're gonna say this is an async function on register and again I'm gonna try to await firebase dot register not really like that register and I'm gonna say name email and password we also need to import this boy right here by import firebase from two to two to do two firebase okay let's see I think we have it right here and similarly for login one as well we need to import it just like here right once we have access to that what we need to do is just get some error if we have and pretty much just alert error dot message right here also if this is successful I just pretty much want the user to be redirected to our dashboard but you see we are not storing the code here so let's just do that so I'm gonna say firebase dot add quote and I'm gonna say my quote is quote which is passed right you could see right here we are using quote as our variable to store the code at registration let's just go ahead and create this method so I'm gonna say add quote is a method which accepts my quote we could throw in some checks here if you want if this dot odd dot current user is not valid I'm just gonna return by alerting not authorized that is you're not authorized to do this operation otherwise let's just get this TB doc and I'm gonna say users um, code damn video and I'm gonna get the current users UID which is a unique identifier for the user and I'm gonna set its value to code having our code that is we could just pretty much give it like that right so this returns as a promise and we could pretty much await on it if we want to on login page we also need the with router event so that we have access to props dot history dot replace and we could just replace it with dashboard right here so let's just go ahead and import this with router from react router dom which we already have so we could just do it like that and there we go so once we have that the only thing left before implementing our dashboard is actually waiting for firebase to initialize at the first load now how do we do that well we make use of that using use effect so I'm gonna create a state variable right here by saying firebase initialized initi a l i z e d and then set firebase initial i t i n i t i a l i z e d is use state and false so I'm gonna say I'm gonna first of all get use state and use effect from react and I'm gonna say that if firebase initialized is not equal to false that means it is initialized then we are ready to serve this otherwise we pretty much want to wait and how do we want to wait by saying that we have a loader and this loader would be a circular progress which is again going to get from our material UI core right and I'm gonna add some styles to this loader by saying this loader is position fixed top zero left zero with hundred percent height hundred percent and we're gonna center our loader by all this stuff there we go right so once we have that in place what we need is an effect because firebase this variable won't be automatically updated we have to use an effect so I'm gonna use this effect and I'm gonna say that if our firebase is initialized so we're gonna create this method once that is done we will have a value and I'm gonna set firebase initialize to that particular value right so let's just go ahead and get this firebase as well so I'm gonna say import firebase from dot 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 firebase and we're gonna create this is initialize method right here so inside my firebase.js I'm gonna say is initialized 
is a method which returns us a promise which is only resolved when app.auth.on auth state change and actually i guess we do have access to that so i'm going to say this dot auth dot on auth state change and once that is done we're going to resolve it we're not going to listen it forever we're going to just resolve it once so that we have access to that information that there was some authentication data involved right so once we have that we are ready to move to our dashboard component right here so you see our dashboard component also looks pretty much similar to our other components with the exception that we need to handle some stuff here so first of all we need to get the username here to be displayed so i'm going to say firebase dot get current username as a method and we're going to use this right here from import firebase that is this one and we could just go ahead and right here get current username as return this dot auth dot current user dot display name which is what we are storing right here when we are registering right so once we have that what we need to do is first of all we need to check if the user actually is logged in so i'm going to say if the current username does not exist that means user is not logged in then i'm going to say alert please log in first and we could just props.history.replace this with login and we're gonna not render anything for this component right if that is not the case we need to get our code so i'm gonna create code as a state variable because code is not synchronously available to us we need to use firebase apis for that so once we have that what i want is an effect again and I'm going to say that I want Firebase dot get current user current user quote somehow, and then I want to set that value to set quote value, or rather we could just replace it with set quote, right? All right, let's just go ahead and create this method now by going to here and saying get current user quote and this would be first of all we need to get the quote by saying await this dot db and we need to make this async this dot db dot doc which is a doc which would be users code damn video and this would be this dot um auth dot current user dot uid and then i'm gonna get it and finally i'm gonna what i'm gonna return is quote dot get our quote property inside it right because that's how we are storing this particular code it's safe and we are good to go now we also have our logout button and logout method in place so that should not really be a problem one more thing we are getting access to current username so what we want is we want to first of all check if the current user even exists or not because that would then crash our application if the current user is null right now we can take a look at our application and we could pretty much go ahead right here we're going to see our application right here we could try to go to dashboard but it says me please log in first okay we don't have an account let's just go ahead and register one i'm going to say my name is mehul mohan my email id could be like anything mehul mpt code tam test at the rate gmail.com password needs to be at least six character wide for firebase and my favorite code could be like firebase makes life so freaking easy right and hit register this is going to register a new account with name mehul mohan email id this password this and it's going to get us to dashboard now right so it says hello mehul mohan which is fetched from firebase it says your code is this and pretty much i could just go ahead here and it's going to load the state first i can go to dashboard it's going to show me my hello mehul mohan message and my code i could log out and pretty much start over again right so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon and like the video and thank you for watching i'll see you then in another one